Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hey, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal, and next I want to talk to you about the McMurray's test. All right, and the reason we're doing the McMurray's test is to identify if somebody has a medial or lateral meniscus uh, injury. And the way we do this test is we take the patient, flex the knee, flex the hip, palpate the joint lines with both fingers, thumb and finger. Then what I like to do here is externally rotate the tibia, give a slight valgus to the knee, and this will help to assess the medial meniscus more. We're going to straighten the patient out. If they have a click or pain, that's an indicator of a possible meniscus tear. Now, to do the lateral side, we internally rotate the tibia, put them in slight varus, and extend the knee, and that could be an indicator of a lateral meniscus tear. Now, on top of the McMurray's, I also like to place the patient in varus, and what I'm doing is a compressing the posterior horn of the meniscus. When I extend, I'm compressing the anterior horn of the meniscus on the medial side, so medial meniscus. So I like to put them into varus, flex them and extend them. I actually like this test better than the McMurray's. Then I do just the opposite. I put them into valgus and I flex to hit the posterior horn of the meniscus and extend to get the anterior horn of the meniscus. We hope you've enjoyed this video, and for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.